Okay, so I'm a little further along, perhaps. I've got things so where it looks pretty good. You can see I've created a OpenGL window that goes all the way across, and I can adjust things and tweak it so that it looks pretty good. Now, it may not look like anything, but in fact, you can see that something's going on a little strange there. When I'm moving the window around, notice that the little outline disappears. That's because it's being drawn in OpenGL, which I haven't figured out how to do yet. Okay, so let's uh, add something. There's a pyramid. We can actually make it disappear or reappear by assigning different Z values to it. 0 0.5, for example, or even 0 0.2, or 1, or 0, or how about 0 0.5. There we go. There's part of it. And we can add a foreground color so you can see exactly where the OpenGL is. See, that's the window. Um, and we can actually edit within the window or without. And in theory, I don't know what that did, but in theory we could sit there and uh, create new little uh, objects on the fly and hook them up so that we can uh, have some kind of graphical interface within the uh, integrated development environment of Squeak. And at the same time we can prototype um, oh, our little spaceship stuff flying around, etc. And it's reasonably responsive. Um, let's uh, bring up a transcript window. There we go. Let's make it partly in, partly out. And let's uh, put something at the bottom like uh, one, two, fifty, do, transcript show, I factorial, see what happens. There we go. You can see there was a little bit of oddness, but once it's there, we can sit there and scroll, and it'll scroll reasonably well between the uh, OpenGL and the non-OpenGL. And in fact, if we had done it slightly differently, let's select it all, and uh, put it in its own little thread, and just to make sure it's going to go properly, we go end entry. So the transcript won't get confused by having a separate th a thread for things. And then we go fork. And if I've done it right, this will now fork that. There you go. Uh, you can see, sort of, you can see the updating is a little bit funky, but... There's sort of real time... Um, running. Now let's do this. I've set the uh, step time to 16. Let's see if it goes a little faster. Nope. Still updating strangely. But that's okay. You get the idea. Things interactive. Um, you can draw on top of things, you can draw behind things, you can draw in between things. That pyramid is slightly in between and slightly on top of the graphical interface. So um, this is coming along fine, and in theory it should make it possible to create new kinds of GUIs. Of course, there's much more opti optimized ways of drawing this, but seeing how I'm still learning OpenGL, I'm rather pleased with how it's coming.